What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is I did a video on the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus about your lock screen and how you can use a video on your lock screen. And all you do is go into your gallery, choose a video, and it does like a, lo a video or whatever you want. You just choose a video. It's really easy. I have a video on it. Again, I'll link it down below. It looks like that wasn't available to users on Galaxy S8, S8 Plus or the Note 8. And it looks like that now is available. So if you have that phone, one of those phones, the Note 8, S8 or S8 Plus, go into that, follow my video down below, the instructions on how to do it and see if you're able to do it. Because if you do, it's actually one of my favorite little tricks on the Galaxy phones uh, is to set a video as your lock screen background wallpaper. It's amazing. It's actually really fun and I can use any video that's in your gallery. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 9. Now the Galaxy Note 9 should be out August 9th, or at least it'll be launched and officially unveiled that day uh, by Samsung and then you're probably going to see the release date about two weeks after that. And the phone's looking pretty decent overall. You're looking at a Snapdragon 845 or Exynos 9810, uh, 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, anywhere between 64 and 512 gigabytes of storage, running Android 8.1, stereo speakers, there's all kinds of nice things that are coming out uh, for this phone. One of the interesting things about this phone is possibly, and hopefully this actually comes true, is the actual S Pen getting some updates, not just software feature updates, but also some actual in new inputted hardware in here. Uh, and the latest thing to come out today, at least out of the rumor mill, is Bluetooth being built into this phone. We've kind of been suspecting that and, and what some of the rumors have said is Bluetooth would be built into it. Well, we were kind of weren't sure what the Bluetooth would do. And it looks like the button on there would actually control uh, setting timers on the phone and also controlling music so that you can play, I guess you can play pause, increase the volume. I don't know exactly what you'd be able to do with that music control, but I'll, but ultimately it would control music and really anything else in terms of Bluetooth functionality, uh, what a Bluetooth controller would be able to do. Um, some other interesting things that could possibly happen with this is maybe you can use it as a game controller. You can press that button and shoot the gun or the rocket, or uh, maybe there's um, accelerometers in there so it allows you to use it as as a remote, uh, like, a, like a gaming steering wheel when you're playing a racing game. That stuff would be very exciting and I think helpful in terms of what you could do with this uh, for Bluetooth controllers. Um, we'll have to wait and see what ultimately uh, it allows you to do besides maybe just controlling music and setting timers. I really hope it does more than that because ultimately if you have your phone nearby, I can't see that being a huge help for you to get things done with your phone because you have to have the S Pen out one, at one point and then also you'd have to press the button and you're always gonna have your phone near you, especially with the S Pen, because why wouldn't you? The S Pen's for the screen and it's just, it's kind of weird. We'll see what they end up doing with it and how it becomes so functional that you really need it near you at all times. You don't need your phone near you. So we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching guys. My question of the day is what you guys think they'll end up doing in terms of controlling things with that Bluetooth controller um, built into the S Pen. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you down the road. Peace.